While reality show villains are the contestants that we love to hate, the good guys of these shows still have a lot to be admired for. Not only are they usually incredibly nice and always play fair, but in the context of a show as crazy as Total Drama, they may even have moments of being heroic. We already took a look at the Total Drama baddies in our Bad to Evil video, and now it's time to look at the opposite end of the spectrum. I'm Kifinosi with Wicked Binge, and this is Total Drama Heroes, good to most heroic. Now, just like our Total Drama Bad to Evil video, we're going to be looking at all of the Total Drama seasons, including Redonkulous Race, but excluding Total Drama Rama. Additionally, if a character has been in multiple seasons, then we'll be taking all of their actions into account, good and bad. Finally, while it may be easy to pick out the villains of each season, it's not quite as easy for the heroes. For this list, we're just going to be looking at the characters who we feel are truly the best of the best. With that said, let's get started. For our least good, but still pretty good, character, we're choosing Sky. Being a lot nicer than this show's typical jock and or athletic archetypes, Sky is a master gymnast with an eye for victory. As an athlete, Sky deeply believes in the importance of teamwork and good sportsmanship. And while she may be competitive, she'll still refuse to cheat. Not always easy in a competition as crazy as Total Drama, unfortunately her need to win can sometimes cause her to throw a bit of a fit when she doesn't. We also have to mention her whole thing with Dave, because oh boy, that was, that was pretty frustrating. While we will say that Dave wasn't entitled to any information and should have just taken no for an answer, Skye's refusal to say that she had a boyfriend already is questionable to say the least. Uh, you were never my boyfriend! Given that Skye is shown to manipulate Dave's feelings for her, it really does feel like she was leading him on for her own gain. For these reasons, we just had to put her at the bottom of this list. Following her, we have Season 1's winner, Owen. Next to Chris McLean, Owen is practically the mascot of the Total Drama franchise. Though many may not care for him due to most of his jokes revolving around eating and is that the donut copter? You can't deny that Owen's got a pretty likable personality. He's upbeat, fun-loving, friendly, passionate, and optimistic. Since he's there to have a good time, he'll often jump right into the more questionable challenges, even when he's afraid of them. Owen can also be an incredibly supportive friend, especially when it comes to people like Noah, whom he helped throughout the Redonkulous race. He was also one of the few people to mostly be nice to Heather, despite how poorly she treated him whenever they were paired up. Still, Owen has his moments of being a not-so-great guy. We can't forget how he tried to sacrifice Izzy to what he thought was a serial killer in order to save his own skin. Granted, this was done out of panic, but it was still pretty messed up. Owen was also brought back midway through season 2 in order to stir up drama, and though he felt bad about it, Owen still did it. Keeping with the original cast, we have Bridget next. It shouldn't be too surprising to see Bridget on this list, as the girl is a self-proclaimed pacifist who can't hold a grudge for more than a few minutes. Even if she didn't always get along with her fellow campers, Bridget still tried to be nice and would often act as a voice of reason during fights. Like she said, she believes in building bridges, not walls. Get it? Bridge it. Let's build bridges, not walls. Uh, unfortunately, Bridget isn't perfect. While love can typically bring out the best in a person, it seemed to bring out the worst in Bridget, who was seen occasionally being physically rough with her boyfriend Jeff, as well as extremely clingy and jealous at times. Though, if there was one positive thing she did while in their relationship, it was putting her foot down and stopping Jeff from becoming pretentious and rude after he got a taste of fame. From the ocean to the countryside, next is Rodney. A romantic at heart, Rodney was yet another camper who was just too innocent for the harsh nature of Total Drama Island. Unfortunately, Rodney doesn't do a whole lot other than falling in love with pretty much every female camper he meets. We can appreciate, however, that Rodney is pretty respectful when it comes to his affections and never acts entitled to romance like some other characters might. Outside of this, Rodney is pretty sweet and almost carefree in a way, despite being a hardworking farm boy. He's also pretty helpful to his team, thanks to his strength, obviously being more brawn than brain. Outside of that, though, there really isn't much to Rodney. Speaking of romantics, next up is Trent. Though most may remember Trent for three things, those being his relationship with Gwen, his brief obsession with the number nine, and his averageness. We still felt that Trent was a good enough character to get a mention in this ranking. Besides, 
Gwen likes weird. While he may have been a bit accident prone throughout the first season, Trent was also incredibly supportive and affectionate towards Gwen. Speaking of which, even after Gwen broke up with him and ended up dating Duncan, Trent never seemed to resent her for it and was always friendly, though still a bit awkward towards her. What keeps him from going any higher is, ironically, another act relating to Gwen. See, back when the two were still dating, he'd occasionally throw challenges for her sake. Given that he was his team's captain, that's a fairly decent betrayal, even if he was just trying to help his girlfriend. Following him is the former wannabe, Beth. While she may not be the best remembered of the original Total Drama cast, it could be said that Beth has one of the best character arcs. Originally starting off as dependent and naive, we saw her grow stronger and learn to stand up for herself as the seasons went on, eventually becoming more independent and even becoming one of the winners of season 2. Beyond this, Beth is also just incredibly friendly and supportive. We saw this with Lindsay, her best friend in the show. Beth can also be brave in certain challenges, such as the Phobia Challenge in Season 1 or the Alien Movie Challenge in Season 2. But while she may not ever try to be an antagonist on purpose like other characters, Beth has sometimes caused issues for her team like when she brought back a cursed item from Boney Island. Still, again, that wasn't entirely her fault, so we can't take too many points away for that. Beth has also had brief conflicts with both Lashana and Courtney in Season 2, although this was more her being frustrated by them than being outright hostile. So yeah, Beth can have a bit of a bite to her at times. Oh, that's it! But it's rare that she uses her newly found strength for anything bad. Up next is the one and only Zoe. One of the breakout characters of the second generation cast, Zoe is yet another really nice girl that just wants to make friends while on the island. She can be kind and patient. In fact, it's very difficult to make her angry, with Zoe often apologizing and even being able to offer compassion to her enemies. Unfortunately, she can also be naive, resulting in her being easy to trick and manipulate. But even with this fairly big flaw, Zoe will stand by her friends even if she doesn't understand them. One moment where this was shown well was during the penultimate challenge in Revenge of the Island, where Zoe was seconds away from winning but decided to save Cameron instead. She can also be incredibly protective, to the point where she may even go into commando mode just so she can fight for them. This mode has a dark side, however, as she can sometimes become too aggressive or focused on revenge. Million dollar prize. Thankfully, this is rare, so we can't fault her too much for it. We've finally come to our first redonkulous character, Kitty. Easily the more fun sister, Kitty was all about having a fun adventure during her time in the redonkulous race. I feel so alive! She often kept a positive and enthusiastic attitude, and never let the intensity of some challenges get her down too much. Kitty was also incredibly friendly towards other teams like the reality show Pros and the Adversity Twins. What we really have to admire about Kitty, however, is how much she supports her big sis Emma. Even when Emma occasionally looks down on her for her ditziness or the two of them squabble, Kitty will still do whatever it takes to get the prize money for her sister so she can go to law school. This includes putting herself at risk, especially during the latter half of the show's run. It may not be the smartest choice, but it's certainly selfless and shows her determination and love for her sister. Up next, we have the always lovable Cody. Like with many of the characters on this list, it's easy to see why Cody has become a fan favorite, and not just because because he's so adorkable. Though he may try to be a ladies' man, Cody can still be incredibly sweet at times, like when he was willing to help Gwen and Trent get together despite having feelings for Gwen himself. The fact that he just wanted Gwen to be happy is representative of Cody's hidden maturity. We also have to praise Cody in how he handles Sierra. Though he does sometimes get creeped out by her, Cody still tries to apologize and cheer her up when it's revealed that he tried to vote Sierra out. I vote for Sierra. Eventually, Cody comes to value her devotion and sees her as his best friend instead of some crazy fangirl. It's a really nice development. Overall, while he still isn't quite flawless, Cody is just a really nice guy. Making it to the upper levels of our list is the gamer, Sam. Okay, first off, we just have to say that without a doubt, the best thing about Sam is his relationship with Dakota. He's kind, loving, supportive, and sees that her mutant form is both awesome and beautiful. Sam even wanted to go back to Total Drama not to win any money, but instead to mutate himself so that he could relate to Dakota better. Honestly, him being such a great boyfriend is what puts him this high up. However, there are other great things about him too. Honestly, Sam is pretty kind and friendly to everyone. <laughs> 
Shabam! And he tries to use his gamer skills to help his teams win challenges. Even if he doesn't always succeed, the fact that he's just willing to try is admirable, given that he isn't exactly the most physically fit. Really, in terms of personality and heart, Sam is a role model for gamers everywhere. Going back over to Redonculus, we have Sanders. As the lawful good cop to MacArthur's more reckless, loose cannon nature, Sanders does all she can to play fair and not break any rules, or let her partner break any rules. Throughout the competition, Sanders acts as her team's conscience, never resorting to cheating nor revenge and even being willing to work with people that she hates, like the Ice Dancers. You saved your mortal enemy. Sanders is also pretty patient and forgiving with MacArthur, and for as often as her partner may frustrate her, she'll never abandon her. That's pretty admirable. Honestly, the only questionable thing that Sanders did during the competition was when she used her impression of a police siren to get through traffic and get ahead of her fellow teens. Still, we'd argue that this is simply using a skill to help in a challenge more than outright cheating. And even if it was cheating, other characters have done much worse, so it doesn't really affect her ranking much. Following her is the bestie with a crush, Carrie. Easily one of the nicest competitors in the Redonculus race, Carrie managed to shine despite being a bit on the boring side. Throughout the competition, Carrie helps out several other people out of the goodness of her heart, such as Junior, Ryan, and the Surfers. Though she was occasionally more focused on her love life than the game, when she was focused, Carrie always played fair and never tried to manipulate nor scheme against others. As for her crush on her bestie, Devin, though she may not have the best opinion of his girlfriend, Shelly, these critiques are done more out of concern rather than jealousy. No! I'm not Shelly! Additionally, even when she thought she was over her crush or was frustrated with Devin's mistakes, Carrie never acted like a jerk towards him and was still clearly his friend. Unfortunately, due to her subplot revolving around romance, Carrie didn't always get to do a whole lot on her own. As such, we had to place her here. Next up is the former bubble boy, Cameron. While he may fall into the nerd stereotype, Cameron thankfully doesn't follow the branching off stereotype of intelligent characters having more brains than a heart. If anything, Cameron can actually be sympathetic and helpful, and we think that's pretty neat. This was seen best when he tried to help Mike control his alternate personalities, not being judgmental of Mike's condition at all. Cameron is also pretty selfless, given that he was willing to split his prize money 13 ways so that all his fellow campers could get a bit of extra cash. Despite having rivalries with both Joe and Lightning, Cameron never really lashes out at either of them beyond defending himself, and honestly, the fact that he was able to get on a person like Anne Maria's good side, well, that says a lot. Really? His only questionable moment was when he used Scott as bait during an All-Stars challenge in order to then use Fang as their makeshift propeller for their raft. Generally, putting your fellow teammates at risk of getting eaten isn't exactly noble. Like, even Cameron was shocked by his own villainous behavior. Oh my gosh! Am I turning evil? But considering it's Scott, well, maybe we can't blame him too much. Next up is the chill party bro, Jeff. One of the most positive characters in the show, it's hard not to like a character like Jeff, thanks to his positive attitude and his friendly and fun-loving nature. Granted, he did have a phase where he was pretty awful, Trent isn't innocent in this, though that was mostly due to ego and fame from his Aftermath show clouding his judgment. Thankfully, this phase was temporary, and Jeff was able to shine even brighter as a character afterwards. This is ultimately what puts him so far above his girlfriend in terms of goodness. We especially saw this in Redonculus Race, where he and his teammate Brody not only played fair, but also supported each other through the roughest challenges, and even sacrificed a win for the sake of the best friends team. Entering the top five, it's the original gentle giant, DJ. Soft-spoken, kind, and maybe just a little over-emotional, DJ is a total sweetheart. While he hasn't made it very far in the seasons that he's featured in, DJ has still had quite a few good moments. While he's a good friend, DJ is an even better friend to animals like bunnies, or at least he tries to be. I think they're gonna be okay. When he's not being a jinx and accidentally hurting them. Honestly, his only questionable moment was when he began an illegal alliance with Chef. While this was cheating, it didn't take long for DJ to feel guilty about it and eliminate himself, showing how moral he can be even while doing something wrong. Another negative could be his occasional cowardice, which can sometimes cause trouble for his team. Still, we feel that we can't knock off too many points for that as DJ is capable of facing his fears, like when he pushed his team to victory in the canoe challenge despite having a fear of water. Just outside of our top three, we have Jasmine. 
brave, practical, and headstrong, Jasmine is truly a survivalist at heart. Thankfully, her experience in the wilderness hasn't hardened her too much. She is kind and caring with strong leadership skills and can even take on the role of being her team's older sister at times. This was especially seen when she began forming a bond with Sami, who she not only comforted, but also encouraged her to stand up to her twin. You should stand up to your sister. Following Amy's elimination, Jasmine continued to help a disguised Sami for as long as she could. Regarding her relationship with Sean, though the two of them have their ups and downs, Jasmine ultimately refuses to sabotage him during the final challenge, despite their relationship not being in the best spot at that moment. While she could easily intimidate people with her height and her strength, both physical and emotional, Jasmine ultimately just wants to have friends. Getting the bronze medal of good is Dawn. While sometimes misunderstood by those around her, often being described as creepy, Dawn truly is a peaceful and helpful soul who unfortunately didn't stand much of a chance in such a cutthroat game. Much like DJ, minus the jinx aspect that usually led to them getting hurt, Dawn was a friend to creatures big and small, even those who were savage or mutated. She even wanted to use the prize money to help the environment if she won. But it wasn't just animals, Dawn was also kind to many of her fellow campers, without being naive to their more underhanded tactics. That being thanks to her ability to read auras. However, what stops her from making it to the very top of this list is her lack of heroic moments. Yes, Dawn is a good person. She tries to comfort Scott, votes off Dakota to try and get her out of danger. Island disaster will befall her. And even saves Lightning, as well as the beetle he swallowed, from choking at one point. But when you're up against a whole bunch of really good people, you've got to have a bit extra in you to make it to the gold. Or in this case, even the silver. And for the silver medal of good, we're giving it to Ella. Yep, no surprise seeing this Disney princess wannabe on this list. Being reminiscent of Snow White, Ella is nothing but pleasant and kind. But although she is sweet, she's also incredibly naive, not understanding things like Sugar's absolute hatred of her. Still, maybe it's for the best that she stayed so innocent, lest she lose that kind heart of hers. I'm saving you a seat. Speaking of which, Ella is probably one of the few characters in the Total Drama franchise to never have even a moment of being antagonistic nor villainous. As we saw on this list, even good guys can have bad moments, but Ella seems to be the exception. She even refused to electrically shock the opposing team during a challenge because she thought it would be too mean. So what gives that she only gets the silver medal then? Well, due to her being eliminated so early, Ella doesn't really get a chance to shine outside of singing and being nice to woodland critters. For her lack of heroic moments, even if not quite her own fault, we couldn't give her our top spot despite her having such a pure heart. Finally, earning the gold medal of good is none other than Brick. It would have been easy to make Brick someone who was more on the brutish or hostile side. After all, this is total drama, and we've seen through Chef how they tended to portray characters who have been in the military. Thankfully, Brick is incredibly honorable. Though he can be commanding, it more so makes him a good leader instead of someone who's just bossy. Along with being disciplined and respectful, Brick always has his team's back, vowing to never leave a man behind. Never leave a man behind. He's shown to be selfless, even volunteering to vote himself off when he lets his team down during the Finder's Keepers challenge. His sensitive side also allows him to be sweet when he wants to be. Finally, though he did cost his team the win, Brick still did what he had to do in order to save Zoe, Mike, and Cameron from a mutant gopher during the Underground Mine challenge. Though his time on Total Drama was cut somewhat short, it was still more than enough to earn him this ranking. Enjoy your gold medal, cadet. And there you have it. But let us know in the comments section if you agree with our ranking and tell us what we should cover next. Remember to hit the notification bell and binge our Good to Evil playlist, where we break down the moralities of the characters in your favorite cartoons, shows, and movies. But most importantly, stay wicked.